Salut, ça va? <laughs> Je m'appelle Robert. I'm Robert coming to you uh, from my stark white apartment here in Montreal. A little history of me. I'm an event designer, florist, and photographer. Moved recently to Montreal. And in the process of doing that, I decided to set up my living room as a photo studio. That being said, uh, I found myself grabbing my gear after work and leaving my apartment. Like, why? Why do I not want to be here? Oh, hello. <laughs> It's because I'm a designer and I should be in a home that is inspiring, is comfortable, uh, is energizing. So I hope you enjoy the process that will unfold over the next couple of videos. You're probably wondering, who is this guy? And what does he have to offer? What is his design style? What is this? Why are we even watching this? So I'm going to give you an idea of my inspiration for um, my living space. I have a kind of architectural, masculine, man's den type feel for this space. I have taken measurements of the room. The room is 13.8 by 1010. Okay, we are ready to hit the streets. So don't forget to bring your measuring tape, a pen, your planogram, your measurements, uh, your wish list, preferably a beautiful man with a truck and some strong arms, that'd be great. Your wallet or somebody else's wallet, that helps you. Uh, and uh, a strong internal drive uh, to survive out in this cold weather, especially here in Montreal. So don't forget uh, to bundle up, bring your scarf, bring your mittens, bring your hat, and let's get this party started. See you on the street. Hey guys, Robert here. Oh my gosh, this is the, it's uh, Montreal cold weather. Hey guys, Robert here, beautiful sunny Sunday in Montreal. It's Robert here, coffee in hand, and on my way to one of my favorite stores. It's always nice, this thrill of the find that I talk about a lot, so let's see what I get. What would a masculine space be without some marble, right? I know. These were a great find I found a few years ago in Toronto, and they were one of the only things that uh, I put on a moving truck to the Great North. So you will be happy to see these pieces that I think I got at a Toronto flea market for $10 each. Hello, great find. Oh, hey guys. I'm ready now, okay? Hi guys. A nice, uh, let me take off my coat. I'm super stoked to show you uh, the living space that I have created. So remember, it was a white, very minimalist studio space for photography. And now it is a comfortable man's den for company and for me to work at my desk. You'll love it. Let me take off my coat and we'll get started. Hey guys, come on in. So here, here we, oh, here we are. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Hey, welcome to my man's den. I'm pretty excited about the transformation. So as you recall, this white box is now turned into uh, a little piece of chocolate heaven. So um, to start with, I've put a very deep base color on the walls, which um, creates a lot of warmth, even though um, it is a very deep color. And what warms up the space more is the play of colored woods, warm honey and kind of burnt umber shades of wood play in here in lots of the eclectic furniture. Texture and balance is another big reason why this space works. A lot of time I spend in this chair contemplating and designing and reading this chair Although nearly three foot square and would be considered quite large for a small space, I think the proportions are appropriate because 
we want to have that tension in a small space. You want to live large whether your square footage accommodates it or not. So I think key pieces that are comfortable and that you live in should be of scale for you and for your lifestyle. Curled up in this reproduction French bergère for a reason because I wanted you to see the scale again as in my other club chair, my other favorite. Ah, which is also a good thing. When you have so many favorites, it's all going to work. So remember that and trust your gut when you're designing because if it's something that you love, it will guarantee work in your space 100%. It works in this space even though it's oversized because it has uh, open legs in which you can see underneath the piece of furniture and it has thin arms and back. Another one of my redundant favorites in this apartment which is this nearly eight foot sideboard which you'll see in another segment and I love it so much because uh, it gives me so much real estate for uh, accessorizing and hanging art. One of the best values in this living room makeover. This sofa I bargained for for the value price get ready $75 yeah, that's right, 75 bucks tax-free. When you find something at such a great price with such great bones, sometimes uh, your design evolves from that piece. In a small space, it's so important to have storage. And this is what this piece does. So I'm in love with this piece. I like the very masculine ends to this piece. And of course, it's full of... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So it's full of shelves on one side and then of course we have a series of drawers on this side. And this is a piece that's very versatile because of its styling. Although a high boy is typically in a bedroom, works here perfectly. Here um, on top of the high boy I've just placed some white painted birch sculptures and of course my record player. Um, the white because it's balancing the colors in the room. It's relieving this side of the room from its heaviness and it's playing off the art and the bergere and the ottoman that take center stage in the room. I am so excited. This is the first time in my life that I've actually had a actual ottoman as my coffee table. Not only is it kind of anchoring and reflective because of its light color, but everybody can share it in this space. When we talk about a, a useful space for design, we want a grouping no more than 15 feet from person to person in order to have a conversation that feels connected without screaming and yelling. And this space, because the room is actually 13 feet by 10 foot 10, so just shy of 11 feet, this is the perfect grouping for people to gather and chat. <laughs> That's it guys, the, we finished episode one. Thank you so much for coming into our home. Uh, stay tuned for the next episodes. You're gonna see DIY projects, you're gonna see me traveling and shopping, you're gonna see artist connection, you're going to see an artist in their space and how they work and what inspires them. I'm super excited to show you the best of Montreal, why I'm here, why I'm inspired, and why I share my design with you and the rest of Montreal. So stay tuned. Click, like, subscribe below. Message me your design inquiries, what you liked or disliked about this space, and if there's any artists or if you are one and want to be part of this project, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to see your space. I'd love to talk about what it is that you do and how you contribute to the art scene here in Montreal. I'm Robert from My Home Art City. 